For the patrol team of Nigerian Navy ship Beecroft, under the leadership of Commodore Kolawoli Obuntuga, has arrested a vessel, motor tanker Sysnail 2, suspected to be involved in crude oil theft. The St. Vincent and Grenades flag vessel had 11 crew on board as at the time of the arrest. The flag officer commanding, Western Naval Command, Rear Admiral Mustafa Hassan, said the vessel was observed to have turned off its automatic identification system since the activities of the vessel would not be determined when such systems are turned off, which is a grievous infraction within the nation's maritime domain. Size Nail 2, a vessel suspected of being involved in crude oil theft. We arrived at this allegation because she's been sailing through oil fields with her automatic identification system switched off. Yes, she has never approval to pick sludge from Port Harcourt, crude oil sludge, but her suspicious movement and turning off her identification system, which is supposed to be on at all times so we know where she is and what she is doing, is making us suspicious of her intentions. She left Port Harcourt about some days back and so Commodore Guntuga today was ordered and it dispatched NNS Sokoto to about 199 nautical miles south. I'm the captain of board MT Sysni 2. Okay. I'm to transport this uh, sludge oil from Taraba Jetty from Badge MV uh, Grace to Egovin Togo. Okay. I cast out on the fifth, I'll be on the fifth, sixth, right? Uh, on the sixth of this month, that's uh, February. Uh, as I was proceeding, when I get to Lagos Deep, NNS uh, Sokoto intercepted me and they interrogated me and they said, asked me to come to Lagos and Courage and we've been here since yesterday. They said my AIS is off, of which my AIS is always on. He says the Nigerian Navy remains committed to protecting its maritime domain while ensuring that the samples of the product on board has been taken for analysis and the outcome of such will determine the next line of action. We've taken samples and sent to the relevant authorities for confirmation of what she's carrying. We are also going to open the ship to stakeholders because the CNS has directed that we do things with transparency so the world will know what we are doing and with clarity and no doubt. So we are investigating. If they are clear, they will be released even though they already have a charge of AIS infraction. But if they are found guilty of crude oil theft, they will be handed over to the relevant agencies for prosecution.